My next guest, Theo Rossi, rose to fame as the tough biker with the soft heart on the FX blockbuster Sons of Anarchy, I Was Obsessed, portraying Juice Ortiz. And he rode into the Marvel Universe as supervillain Hernan Shays Alvarez in the hit TV series Luke Cage. And now Theo is starring in the highly acclaimed thriller currently streaming on Netflix. It's called Emily the Criminal, where he portrays a scam artist named Yusef who lures Emily, portrayed by Aubrey Plaza, into a dangerous criminal underworld. You make that much selling TVs. Sometimes TVs, sometimes other things. You make less than 5,000, keep it. Okay, what if I make more? If you make more? Yeah. You want me to be your boyfriend? These are very serious no. people. We're serious people. He should be scared of us. Am I wrong? Woo! TFM, welcome Independent Spirit Award winner nominee Theo Rossi! loves you, but you know who else is a fan now? Who? The Barack Obama said. <laughs> Emily the Criminal is one of his favorite movies. And I got it on good word that he watched it for he, sure. Yes, this is not just him hyping. I this know. is fact. I know. You've got everybody's attention with this. It's amazing. It's when you amazing. read the script, did you know, like, this is a hit? I, you know, you know, you just, some things you hope, you know, you do the, in this business, you just hope, right? And you, you do, you're always giving it everything because for me, I always know that people are taking their time out of the day to watch things that I do. So it's like, I have to give a hundred and million percent on everything. And this was just one of those ones that you hope people saw and apparently they did. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um. But can I, can I tell you something quick? Yes, can sir. I tell you? Yes. You are such an inspiration. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. No, no, no. No, no, because we've known each other now a long time. We have. Back in the day. We've done this from the Suns days, right? And we've done it a few times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have Not, a picture. I think they found one from 2014. 2014. They found a picture of us uh, that I think I posted. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm such a giant fan of yours because I always say good things happen to good people. Oh, thank you. They do. Thank and God. you really are like the definition of, I think when people know the whole story and it's like, and still I rise, like you're, it's amazing. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. No, because you show people, you show them. No. You show them and now you're telling them. That's your <laughs> name right there. Oh, it's thank amazing. You. The same, you know, I feel the same way about you. Watching you, I said, all along the way, I've been celebrating. And I know after you left Sons of Anarchy, yeah. it's like that what's next pressure. Because yeah. you're on this big hit. Yeah. And you manage these expectations. And here, at the right time, this hit that everybody is talking about. What is the middle ground like that when you leave such an epic show? It's such a blessing. I yeah. mean, because, you know, you just, to be, to be on something that's timeless, that people are still talking about 10 years later. We started that journey in 2008. That's crazy. Yeah, and it went to 2014. So, to, I mean, those days are kind of over. Seven year shows, right. 13 episodes, being in people's lives for seven, eight years. Uh, it's an amazing blessing because now you're in their conscience. And I think that, and then to go to Luke Cage right after that, and then to go, into all the movie stuff. It's, it's like, like you're the, in their You're lives. on fire, but it's, it's, you are the common thread in these oh. projects. Wow. I mean, that's the thing. It's like Sons of Anarchy, then you wait, then Luke Cage, and now this. Yeah, I'm just a court jester. I just do what they tell me, and I'm just trying to entertain people. Like, you know, my thing is I'm so fortunate, and, like, I... You know, I'm in Texas. Yeah, near I was your gonna say, so you, you now live in Texas. You have a farm. When we knew yeah. each other, you weren't a dad yet. No. Now you're a dad. You got yeah. a farm. You got chickens and oh, look at goats. And, and yeah. <laughs> look at this. That's Mama Lulu. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's Smalls in there. I have Biggie and Smalls because are two of the goats. a true New Yorker. A true New that's Yorker. That's Smalls, yeah. And uh, yeah, the chickens so, are nuts. My so rooster. So has the city yeah. New York kid left us, and now yeah. you're gone straight country. Texas, I love it. Oh. I just absolutely love it. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, you you grew up not too far from there, Little Lane, Yeah, right? Little Lane, yeah. Texas. All right, like, well, I'm going to come on the farm, and I'll help, I'll help tend Biggie and Smalls. Yeah, and whoever. Biggie and Smalls, yeah. <laughs> well, and we let just me tell you, <laughs> congratulations on the awards, on oh, the family. I'm so you. proud of you. Family and it's a Texas connection. Erica. Everybody. Everybody. The Texas Day. <laughs> the Texas Day. Neil Rossi, Emily the Criminal, streaming now on Netflix. Make sure you check it out.